More than 60 million Americans are preparing for this year's open enrollment period for Medicare. A recent survey found that most don't really understand plan components, are overwhelmed by Medicare, and fail to consult with external sources before signing up. So, we are here to tell you this afternoon that there is help with navigating the Medi uh, Medicare maze, and that help is coming from the State of Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau. We are happy to welcome this afternoon to the show uh, the Insurance Commissioner. This is Mr. Trinidad Navarro and Lakia Turner, who is the director of DMAB. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having us. So, let me ask you, you know, I think I know the answer, but do, do the findings of this survey surprise you? It, it really doesn't. No? Uh, you know, uh, Medicare is, is complex. People um, don't really understand you know, how, to, how to sign up, who to talk to. Uh, and we offer this, this, this uh, program that uh, will help people understand uh, the complexities of mm -hmm. signing up and what's best for them. Okay, so, so tell us, uh, or give us an overview uh, of the Delaware Medical Assistance Bureau and what the agency does. Well, it's a federally funded program, so every state has, it may not be called DMAB, right, because mm -hmm. they're, they're Delaware, but everyone has one, and uh, they fund uh, this program to uh, put experts like Lakia and her team on board to help people sign up for what uh, they think is, is very, very complex. And quite frankly, it is. We know there's been about 40,000 complaints that come from consumers every year from, from Medicare-related issues. Wow. So, Luke, we're seeing a lot of commercials about the Medicare Advantage plan. Yes. Can, can, can you share some? Is this, is this really a good thing, the Medicare Advantage plan? So, the Medicare Advantage plans can be good, but it's definitely important for consumers to do their research. Um, if someone is interested in enrolling into a Medicare Advantage plan, they do have to understand that they will continue to pay their Medicare Part B premium. They will no longer use the red, white, and blue Medicare card, but they will actually use the card that is issued by their Medicare Advantage plan. So this insurance does not supplement their Medicare. They need to check with their providers, call each provider that they use, and find out if that uh, provider does accept that insurance. And they want to make sure that they review the website of these insurance companies because they might find that the closest provider is 45 minutes away. Mm. So that becomes an issue for um, someone who may be looking for those insurance. And because they have a network of doctors, it's important to know who's in the network. Yeah. And it's also important that they are in this plan for an entire year when they sign up. So unless they qualify for some type of special enrollment period, they're not gonna be able to get out. And finally, they market that they can get money back into their bank account. And unfortunately, if they do not qualify for Medicaid, they will be unable to get that money back into their bank accounts. Uh -huh. mm. So a lot can go wrong if you decide, you know what, I'm gonna navigate this myself and sign up on my own, can, can it? Absolutely, their finances can be affected because they're paying out a lot of co-pays. They may not also be able to see the providers that they use. Mm. Okay, so let me ask this. How can people get help? Well, they can they can sign up on, on our website to see uh, the Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau uh, program. We meet with people one on one, uh, and often every year things change. And you heard what Lakia said; it's very complex. Your deductibles could change, your copays could change, uh, your premiums will change. So it's really important to speak to someone who's an expert, and we're very very good at this. Absolutely, and it's after they have enrolled and come the new year, they will find out that their provider is no longer accepting their insurance. So it's very important that they do this research during the open enrollment period. And that starts when? That starts October 15th and runs until December 7th. So and the coverage will begin on January 1 of the new year. So you have time. Make plans, get the help. Definitely get started early. Yeah, thank you. Trinidad Navarro and Lakia Turner, thank you so much thank for you. coming in today. Thank you.